hello everybody and welcome to the session so here we are with yet another wonderful session on your vidantu ka platform let us get started this is your master teacher hari priya you can also follow me on instagram my instagram handle would be hari priya dot vidantu and please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and anybody that you know your cousin or anyone of the same age group and if you are new to this channel if you are here for the very first time please do not forget to subscribe to the channel right now because this is india's leading junior channel with more than half a million of subscribers 600k and counting right so do not forget to subscribe to the channel we'll have entertainment videos we'll have fun videos we'll have uh, anything and fun is the same no yeah academic videos informative videos everything is going to happen uh, happen in in this channel so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon now today's session is going to be about symmetry one of the most easy peasy pizza cheesy chapter so after the session if you want to just master it if you want to be like nahi mujhe pura seekhna hai session ke bare mein like in this chapter ke bare mein i want to just be thorough with this chapter if you want to do that do not forget to play the week quiz the link of the week quiz you will find in the description box of the same video usse pehle i want to tell a quick update to all of you If you want to take up our AI live courses, they are only for eight hundred eight thousand one hundred rupees for the entire year, and you can use the coupon code YT Junior to get an additional discount. You'll have session replays, notes, tests, assignments, weekly and monthly tests. You have Tatva book in the form of PDF. It's an extra study material for all of you guys. My Tatva was just somewhere right here, but I'm not able to see it. I was referring it to. the other day but anyways okay so be it grade 6 7th year 8th there's only one coupon code yt junior and you will be getting a 10% ka discount if you have any queries if your parents want to ask up ask us any questions you can always whatsapp us to this number we are happy to help otherwise you'll find the link in the description box so chalo der kis baat ki enroll kar lo aur aake hamare sath pad lo we'll have a lot of fun theek hai so today's chapter is symmetry so in this one session you will be able to revise the entire chapter of symmetry aapko multiple videos dekhne ki zarurat nahi padegi theek hai so let's get started with symmetry ka definition kya hoga what is line symmetry what is rotational symmetry and what is the difference between this line and rotational symmetry theek hai to usse pehle hum jante hain ki symmetry hota kya hai now if you take any object and cut it into equal parts you can cut it like this or you can cut it like this theek hai horizontally ya vertically if you divide them either horizontally or vertically they should be broken into two equal halves exactly they should look alike if they do you can say that they are symmetric in nature take an example of that leaf So if you cut the leaf from the center along its line you can see that this portion and this portion looks the same hai na they almost look the same and then you have that butterfly also if you just bisect that butterfly horizontally vertically like this you can see the left part and the right part are exactly the same so you can say that this book the butterfly the leaf the speaker that i have right here and a lot of other objects are symmetric in nature now what is this line of symmetry for figures now i have shown you these lines there is a horizontal line there is a vertical line hai na what is that line doing wo kya kar raha hai wo line that is dividing an object into two equal parts so a figure has a line of symmetry if there is a line it can be a horizontal line a vertical line a diagonal also which divides the figure into two parts that will coincide when you fold them it will divide into two equal parts the left side and the right side should look the same the top and the bottom should look the same that line is called as 
line of symmetry it divides the object into two symmetrical parts now when i talk about line of symmetry let's talk about regular polygons regular polygons kya hota hai they have the same side length all of them have equal sides and the angle measures are also equal that is our regular polygon hai na so as you can see square is a regular polygon kyu kyunki sare angles equal hai and the sides of the squares are also equal to each other right so you can see there's 1 2 3 4 4 4 lines of symmetry for a square for a triangle for an equilateral triangle yaad rakhna this is only for regular polygons where the side lengths are the same and angles are of the same measure theek hai so here it's an equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal to each other to kitne lines of symmetry hai 1 2 3 3 lines of symmetry now if i take a hexagon hexagon mein kitne sides hai 6 6 sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 How many lines of symmetry do I have here? One, two, three. You can have four. You can have a five, and you can have six. You can have six lines of symmetry here as well. So, be it a regular polygon or be it any object like this, a figure like this, if you see a line which is bisecting it into two equal parts, which is dividing the figure, the object. into two equal parts then that line is called as line of symmetry now this line of symmetry is like a close relative of mirror and mirror reflection how now when one half of the mirror image of the other half and this, um, the shape is symmetrical as you can see if you place a square in front of a in front of a square uh, in front of a mirror you can see the reflection of the same square the same length the same color the same dimensions hai na so you can see the reflection on the mirror and the object that we are holding look alike and this mirror is just standing between them so this line is called as line of symmetry or you can also call it as a mirror line that mirror is acting like a line between the reflection and the actual object look at the beauty that we have there's mathematics everywhere have you ever thought like you're in front of the mirror and you can see ha yaar mere jaise dikhne wala the same proportion as any you know the mirror is showing you too thin or too fat it's just showing the way you are so the mirror is a natural line of symmetry or the mirror line okay so that is a close relation between a mirror line and a line of symmetry in case of mirror reflection the left side gets exchanged it becomes right and the right will get left so when you hold a c in front of the mirror it look the other way n will look the same r as you can see will again reverse hai na so depending upon what object you are holding which letter you are holding in front of the mirror the reflection will be as such okay now for example you take a triangle try it out in your free time okay cut it into an equilateral triangle and cut it into half theek hai that half is your line of symmetry now when you fold it along that and punch it and open it you can see two dots here two holes you to only punched one hole but how did two holes come because of the method because of the concept of line of symmetry because of the concept of symmetry so when you fold a paper into two halves and punch a hole at one at any place the holes are the same look at same location on both sides you punch a hole here you will get a hole here you punch a hole here you will get a hole here when it is folded along the line of symmetry theek hai So let's do few questions. Identify the multiple lines of symmetry for the following figure. So as you can see, you can divide this uh, like this, like this, and like this. For here, you'll have this and this. That's it. Two lines. See, here you'll have three lines of symmetry. 
Here you'll have horizontal and vertical, only two lines of symmetry. That red line that I drew are called as lines of symmetry. What about them? Now this is a little tricky. So ek to this will be here. Okay. And the other one, this. And the other ones, this. Here you can have a diagonal and a diagonal here. Okay. So we'll only have two. You must be thinking, ma'am, ye to square hai. We can have a horizontal and vertical also. Then you are wrong. You can't have. Because when you are dividing it at horizontal like this, the above part and the below part are not the same. They don't look alike. Okay. So you have a curve here. You should have a curve here also. But you have a curve here. Right. So depending upon the figure, you have to carefully choose your lines of symmetry. Okay. And next comes our rotational symmetry. Rotation matlab kya hai? I'm sitting here. I'm going to go round, 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 round. And come back here. So this is rotation. I'm rotating here on my chair. Right? That was very funny. Anyways, rotational symmetry is on rotating an object. Like I just rotated myself about a point. About a point, matlab, this where I'm sitting is a point. There I have rotated. Now when I rotated, did my shape and size change? No, I look the same. I go another round and thinking and maybe my shape and size will change. Am I changing? No. So when you are rotating an object about a point, the shape and size does not change. Such figures have rotational symmetry and the fixed point is called as the center of rotation and the shape has rotational symmetry if it looks the same when rotated at all angles less than 360 degree. What do I mean by that? For example, let me become Chutanku here. Let's take this rectangle. Okay. So, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Now, if I rotate it like this, it will become straight. You have A, B, C, D like this. You are rotating it from here to again here. Correct? So, you rotated 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. So, totally you have rotated 180 degrees and it looks the same shape as the earlier image. So, this is our initial image and this is our final image. Don't they look the same? Forget about the markings. A, B, C, D ka chhod do. Do they look the same? Yes. Both of them are like this horizontal rectangle. So you can say that rectangle shows rotational symmetry. So the angle of rotation here is 180 degree. Why? Because when you 90 plus 90, kiya, that's when it came back to its original shape. So when it comes back to its original shape, after rotating through some angle, that angle is called as angle of rotation. So, yaar, ye dekho. Okay, JBL is written like this. Now, I want the JBL to be written again same way. So, I'll rotate 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, right? No, I'm making a mistake. Okay, now I'll take it at this point. One. Two, three, four. After four right angles is when I am getting back to its original shape. So here it is 360 degrees. But here what is happening? So this is a rectangle, right? So I want the rectangle to be just like this. So first from here they went here. Okay. From here they went here again. So from here to here is 90 degrees. From here to here is another 90 degrees. So total 180 degree ka rotation hua tha. That's when the original shape looked the same as, sorry, the final shape looked the same as the original one. So that angle with which we rotated is called as angle of symmetry. And then we have the order of symmetry. How many times did we rotate to come back to the original point? We, we rotated it twice two times. So the order of rotational symmetry here would be two. The number of positions in which the figure can be rotated and appears exactly the same is called as 
order of rotation and then let's do a question before we move forward given give the order of rotational symmetry for the following so let's name them here let's take this as a b c and d so when a comes here how would it look like it will look the same when a comes here it would look the same here it would look the same here also it would look the same so what would be the order of rotational symmetry the order of rotational symmetry here would be look at this 1 2 3 and 4 so the order of rotational symmetry here would be 4 because after rotating it 4 times you saw that it came back to the original shape it looks the same so you can say that the order of rotational symmetry here would be 4. Now what about this figure given to you? Now let's talk about this point. So when you go here, this point if it is rotated here, it will reach here. So this would be 1. Again from here if it is rotated, it will reach here. Okay, this black point rotate by 90 degrees, it will reach here. So we have it here. Again rotate by 90 degrees. You will come here, again rotate by 90 degrees, it will come here and again rotate by 90 degrees, it will come back to the original position. How many times did we do it? 1, 2, 3 and the fourth time it came back to its original shape. So what is the order of rotation? 4. And by what angle did you rotate? 90 degrees. Here by what angle did you rotate? 80 degrees. Okay. So, this is how you will have to do. Uh, okay. So, let's move forward and see what is this difference between line symmetry and rotational symmetry. Are they related? Can they exist together? So, some figures have both line symmetry and rotational symmetry. For example, let's take the square here. We already know that it has line symmetry. We have seen that there are horizontal, vertical and diagonal lines which divide it into equal parts. So line symmetry check. Now we have to see what is the rotational symmetry or not. So first let's take this point. Always to check rotational symmetry start from a point. 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 Just keep changing, just keep moving that one point and check how many times you are moving to come back to its original position. That would be the order of rotational symmetry. The angle with which you are rotating to bring it back to the same shape is called as angle of rotation. Order of rotation is the number of times you are rotating to bring it back to the same point. That is order. Angle is the angle at which you will rotate. So as you can see, I have rotated it 90 degrees. From here, the M jammed here. From here, in the M jammed here. From here to here. And then again, once I rotate, it will come back to its original point. So we have 1, 2, 3 and the fourth one you will reach here. Understood? So this is our rotational symmetry. So a square a triangle, all of them have both line symmetry and rotational symmetry also. Now, draw a quadrilateral with line symmetry but not a rotational symmetry of order more than one. What is this? It's the trapezium. As you can see, the trapezium has one line of symmetry but it has no rotational symmetry. None. Even when you try rotating it, it's not possible. Until you just do the entire 360 degrees. Anna? And it has only one line of symmetry. So, what is the quadrilateral? It's a trapezium. So, that is all for today. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. And do not forget, you can also try our AI live courses only at Rs. 450 for 15 days. For the link for the subscriptions, uh, do not forget to check the description. <laughs> and yes, do not forget to use the coupon code YT Junior. You will be getting an additional 10% card discount. And if you think that yes, I have understood the whole chapter, it's like the bado. 
और दूसरा वी क्विज शुरू कर दो ताकि वट एवर डाउट यू हैव इफ यू हैव एनी यू विल गेट ड्यूरिंग प्लेइंग द वी क्विज यू कैन ड्रॉप इन दिन दमेंट सेक्शन आई विल टेक अप ऑल दो ठीक है वेन वी डू द लाइव क्लासेस so that is all from my side guys thank you so much you people who are lovely today do not forget to show us some love by liking the video and sharing the video aur ye raha aapka homework question if you want you can do it uh, and if you know the answer do let me know in the comment section theek hai thank you so much see you in the next class